My little children, believers, dear ones, I am writing you these things so that you will not sin and violate God's law. And if anyone sins, we have an advocate who will intercede for us with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous, the upright, the just one, who conforms to the Father's will in every way, purpose, thought, and action. All right. Now, how many of you know what that word advocate means? Shall we do it? You mean a lawyer? <laughs> Ta-da! The Lord Jesus Christ is our advocate before God. It's a noun and it's a verb. Okay. Advocate, noun. In its primary sense, signifies one who pleads the cause of another in a court of civil law. I like the third one down here from our friend Webster's. He says this, advocate, one who defends, vindicates, or espouses a cause by argument. One who is friendly to as an advocate for peace or for the oppressed. In scripture, Christ is called an advocate for his people. As in the following verse, you know, he was a Bible scholar. We have an advocate with the Father. That's what we just read mm -hmm. there. Our Lord Jesus is in heaven for all time, mediating, advocating, for those that believe in him, he basically tells the father, I shed my blood for their sins and I live forever. And so for how long I'm living, that's how long their sins have been forgiven by uh, uh, the Lord God. And so put their sins on my account. Mm -hmm. That's advocacy. So for you to say, I don't need advocacy before a holy God who is light, who is a consuming fire, who fills all of eternity with himself. Don't delude yourself. Partake of what God is offering in the area of fellowship with himself. He says down here, my little children, I'm writing to you these things so that you would not sin and violate God's law. And if anyone sins, we have an advocate. So if you're living in sin today, the Lord Jesus Christ is your advocate. He is pleading your case before the God of the universe, basically saying all the sins that man has committed, past, present, future. I sacrifice my blood to atone for. Think about the billions and trillions and quadrillions of people who have lived throughout time. Our advocate, the Lord Jesus Christ, died a cruel death as the Lamb of God and shed it incorruptible blood so that you can have your sins cleansed.